Right, let's pretend we're sitting at a hypothetical table. Um, we're <laughs> like all sitting. All, sorry. <laughs> like diplomat. Exactly. We're sitting around a nice round table. Knights of the round table. We're the table's at least six feet in diameter, so we are regulation distance from one another. Yeah. Let's go around and introduce ourselves. I'm Joe. I have made the two funniest videos on the channel so far, naturally. Um, this is Daniel. Hello, hello everyone. I'm Mr. Anglin Airsoft. He's and a, we have. Oh, for, go on, sorry. <laughs> I was going to say you're sorry. the one that actually knows how airsoft guns work, so you fixed you fixed my stuff for me, and you know how to actually make guns better. Yeah. And then we also have Emma. She's hello. Third. She's the third she's partner third. in crime. <laughs> she's the third partner in crime. Um, she's more on the record and slash camera social side. media side of stuff, helping yeah. promote stuff you know. and get posts yeah. ready and yeah. Bit 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 more up to date with public liaison like. relations. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit on the side. <laughs> She, she, she's she's she, the young one, so she, she's more... keeps us um gives us gives us a better perspective, like an out not an outsider, obviously, because you know what it is. But you um you you definitely kind of <clears throat> ask questions that we we wouldn't think about and that we need to hear. Yeah, I like ask questions which you can include in your videos and yeah yeah stuff like so, that. Yeah. You 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 sort of although you're not outside you're the outside view because you're yeah. you're only you now coming into your your yeah. perspective of airsoft is just what I've what I've got in my collection wise you haven't been on a field you know you haven't got to start to collect your own stuff so <laughs> you haven't signed that rabbit you're... hole yet <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah God well I I know how that rub, rabbit hole is going to start oh Daniel can you just buy me this. <laughs> I mean, Daniel. no, I don't think it'd be that. It'd be Daniel. Can I borrow a couple of these and a couple of them, please? <laughs> At least your first yeah, gun yeah. doesn't have to be orange. <laughs> you just use one of Daniel's no, until you get no, until you get uh, no. your Yukara. That 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 is is that. But then again, as we all start, you don't always have to go and have to buy it. No, that's very true. Red. You don't you don't have to you don't have no, to buy it straight away. You can bike. play three times. I get my yeah. whip with airsoft when I go practice in Daniel's back garden with him. <laughs> we, I'd just like to reiterate that we play airsoft very safely in a controlled environment with all safety procedures followed. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very long back garden as well. We, we wear very strong sunglasses when we shoot in our back gardens. Very true. <laughs> I think the most stupidest thing at air, in airsoft and I've done is sitting in the back garden, looking at my gun, just thinking it's emptied, and pull the trigger while my finger's over <laughs> into the barrel. Was it loaded? Well, let's just say I didn't empty it how you should empty it. Mag was <laughs> out, yes, but I think I had... had oh, you had one in the chamber. I left, I left one in the chamber, not knowing. I looked and everything, thought, yeah, it's clear. Now nah, it's not, bang, shoot finger. Oh, but... my gosh. My, my, uh, I'll tell you, you know Matt... Um, yeah, he, he told you this story that he had a couple. He had a couple of our mates over one night, and <laughs> and what he did was he he was playing around with his pistol and he just jokingly points it at our mate's foot and pulled the trigger. <laughs> and he shot him like point blank in the foot, bare foot, from about <laughs> three feet away. Like Joe, have you executed heard, his yeah. foot? <laughs> have you heard the conversation of me and Daniel? Oh, let, let, yeah, let, go on. No, we'll, 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 we'll so, put this one out. We'll put this one out. Go on then. Um, Daniel had just gone and got, um, like, padded armour, and he'd also gone and bought uh, a Glock, like, obviously an airsoft one. Yeah. And I goes, oh, Emma, just test this out. I want to see how, like, protective this armour thing is and how good this gun <laughs> is and whatnot. So we've gone into the back garden, and he's gone, aim at the, uh, um, like, the I, arm. I, I, I went, aim at okay, the plate, then. yeah. I went, all right then, that's fine. And I'd aimed at this thing, but I, I, we don't know how. I think it might have been the air wind or something, because it was like well, well, winter well, well, time. Well, well, we, we perfectly know how. We perfectly perfectly know what Did happened. you miss? Is that and what happened? I, 
no, I no, hit no, him no, in the no, shoulder no, and penetrated no, the skin. Emma, let, 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 let's be honest. You wasn't aiming for my back, were you? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe just the shoulder a little bit. But yeah, I, but uh, unfort- yeah, I she shot, shot him in the me... shoulder and penetrated it. Oh, you no, broke she... skin. She Ugh. shot me on the flabby bit under the arm that isn't... Oh, the no! The no! That's and, the worst the thing... part. And, Joe, I actually have pictures of this, so when I find it... I find it, send it to me, and I'll add it to the video. Oh, my God. The, but the thing is, though, the agreement was, I'll let you shoot me if you... I'll let you shoot me if you let me shoot... Oh, you know, you can yeah. shoot me, I'll shoot you, vice versa. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When it comes to Emma's turn... No, 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 no. I'm not having you shoot me. No, 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 no. But I was nice to my word. I shot her straight in the back where the plate carrier was. I'm cursed yeah. of bones, <laughs> just boniness. <laughs> so whenever I get hit, it's normally somewhere bony. Yeah. But norm- you need help. Go on. I, got, I did get hit. I have been hit so many times on, like, fatty bits. Like, yeah. I've been hit just under the plate carrier, I'm like, on my on my gut. Yeah. And oh, I hit like someone had punched me in the punched yeah. me proper well, you, hard. I think you need to get yourself an L- how and get yourself an LMG, Joe. Exactly, that's what I need to do. I need to lay down that yeah. suppressive fire. Yeah, that's what you need. Paint myself as a better target. <laughs> yeah, or, or, or just buy yourself a bit of camo and hide up. I don't think any of the sites I play at like are viable. Maybe one. I think Com. I think Thetford is like you could maybe get away with wearing a ghillie suit in a uh, couple of scenarios. Thetford, but... you could. Um, combat. Uh, no CAG, sorry. You can. Oh, I've never played at CAG, though. That's the thing. No, I thought you'd done one game. No, I went there to location scout for a video, oh, but I never played. No, that, that, that would be good, but everywhere else is sort of like QCB <laughs> style, ain't it? Oh, yeah, exactly. And skir- at Skirmish, when we were playing there, it was so small that, like, you'd have to be... Yeah, you... you, you... There's very there's very well, few places around here that are actually, like, super large. I think Thetford's fairly big. You've got you've got CAG, which CAG is, is which fairly is big. big, but, like... I think they've, they've possibly got another site coming. They, they, I know they've got another They're talking about one, yeah. They've got it. Um, there's... I think it's Battle Station, no Battleground at um, Swatham Way. Yeah, they're they're very um, foresty in that. Only problem is you just get bored with like forests after a while, yeah. don't you? Because realistically speaking, Cag's a good site. When I went there, it was very nicely laid out. They had some good like game areas, but Cag and you know Thetford. They're both just forests, and skirmish was essentially a paintball site that let airsoft just play on there. There wasn't, yeah, there wasn't really airsoft. Let, like, it was all very close because paintball guns don't yeah. shoot as far. So, like, and the only, I'd say the only, Thetford's actually got some good areas for CQB, but yeah, it's all. Uh, I don't know. I'd like to play in some places that are very different when we can eventually. Yeah. Uh, we'll go. Think, yeah. Go on. No, 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 no. Carry on. Um. Yeah. That's all. What, what everyone's really waiting for: lockdown to hurry up and. Yeah. Finish so we can join in. Exactly. And have more games. Just get playing more places. Want. Yeah. No, it'd be good. I'd love to play in like one of those big abandoned complexes. Like yeah. the hospitals or like the the army or bases Arbor, or um, stuff like that. North Norfolk, that way. I think so, yeah. but like I wouldn't mind travelling a little bit, like travelling to different ones in the I UK. Think, I think that's Scorpion up there, which is an old RAF, RAF um, hospital, I think. That'd be really good. Just I wouldn't mind travelling to different parts of the UK. Like, yeah. <clears throat> so I'd be, I'd be happy to do that as well. Now we've introduced... We've had, you know, we shared a couple of stories. Let's let's um, let's discuss what got us into the the sport. So yeah. So do you, right. Do you I'll, want to go first? I'll, yeah. What got me into airsoft? Um, first of all, I just love guns. Mm. Like 
any <laughs> person. Any can't say normal person because no one's normal. Can't say red blooded person because not all red mm. blood. I'm ah, what's the word? I'm like some people. I like I like guns. You know, I like like the old action movies. You know, mm-hmm. so that's number one. What got me in it? Um, watching Cam Man and um, Mustang video. Yes, I've said that nasty word, chicken Mustang. <laughs> How dare I? But I do like his videos. I do like the content. I like his content very good, and I like like the product. But they're the two main, yeah, main reasons why. I got into it. Me and a mate, we spoke about doing it. I'm Menard a few months, and it's like, you know what? I'm just going to take the, take the take the hit and go for it. So that's what brought me into airsoft. Yeah, and brought me into it very heavily. Yeah, I've I've invested big. I've probably invested <laughs> too much in airsoft at the minute. I think it's very easy to. Yeah, you know, the yes. company brings out a new gun. It's like, oh, I like that. I'm going <laughs> to buy that. And then another company brings out another. Oh, I like that as well. Luckily, I've only stuck with what one, two, three, met four different companies. Yeah. But that's that's at the end of the day, that's opinion. Some people like the guns. Yeah. The company makes someone like a different gun. I think I've never um I've n- I'm not I've never kept up to date with new releases like a little bit like I've heard of like when it's a big new release then I've heard it because I've watched because of the few YouTubers I watch they've announced yeah. like oh they're gonna get this but I've never kind of seeked out the new ones I just kind of look for like oh it's I don't really know I don't know how to explain it but <clears throat> I think. I'll explain it when I talk about how I got into it and like my process yeah. of buying guns. But yeah, yeah. Uh, but would you say that the kind of combination of what you grew up enjoying and then you just kind of stumbled across the sport? Because I assume you know most people grow up and they know they know about paintball, but yeah, you just kind yeah, of well, yeah. I knew about paintball. I done paintball. Obviously, mm-hmm. I knew about BB guns, but they my limit my my knowledge on BB guns were just at the time were like it was a spring spring handgun. You know, mm. you have to pull it back to fire it. That's all my limit was. And then obviously, to be honest, now thinking about it, I'd say watching airsoft videos like KM is probably number one instead of my interest in guns and that lot. Yeah. It's what brought me to it thinking about it now because a bb gun or an airsoft gun was just something you'd pull the spring back and pull yeah, you know springers. pull the rack back and yeah but no it's bigger than that it's it's a battery it's a bolt it you know it's a piston it's a gearbox so yeah so yeah it's it is it's what i think yeah it definitely depends on what you do and what you know then deter then I, I think I'd come across across it by by mistake. Paintball, oh, yeah. It. But yeah, that's so that, that's that's what what brought me into it really. Them issue, them them two bits, and just no, okay, yeah. Seeing stuff I like, really. <clears throat> no, definitely. Um... <clears throat> oh, got to clear my throat. Because I, I I don't I don't know about you. Obviously, you'll probably explain it in yours. But when I've gone to select, when I went to select my first gun, the amount of research I was doing, <laughs> it's like, well, what 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 do I get? What I want? Okay, what's this? Oh, someone said this brand. Someone said TM. Someone said Avalon. Someone's v, sorry VFC. Sorry. Yeah. Someone said ICS. And then it's like, right, let's flick through. I don't like that gun because it. That's the sa- that's what that person's got. That's what that that's the same as them hundred people. Oh, well, that gun, that hundred people. Then it, yeah. I then come across ICS and I saw the Komodo and it's like, let's do a bit of research. Probably only a handful of people only had had, had the gun. It's like, well, I know my first gun, and I was going to buy it brand new, but luckily, my local airsoft shop had one that someone had got from day one. 
only used it probably twice, not even in a full, a, in, in a game situation, you know, just in the house, tried it, you know, garden tried it, and it's like, that's the gun I wanted. Well, at the, what I wanted was, was a, it was a different version of it. However, they had the other version of it, and it's like, I'm happy with that, and I'll just do the upgrades to get it how I want it. So that's hmm. how I got in, and then it just got expensive, more expensive <laughs> and expensive. Yeah. So, that's, yeah. That's probably very consistent with everyone else's. Like, yeah. Yeah. No, that's a, that's a, yeah. That's a good way of getting into it. Yeah. So, that, I would personally say don't, don't rush into your first gun. Mm-mm. Don't rush into your first gun unless you're a hundred percent sure that's what you want. Definitely don't even like don't even rush into the sport, I think. No. On paper no. you can you can think that you'll like it and like it will turn out that it's just there's so many things like we'll we'll talk about our first airsoft games because I think that broke a lot of like preconceptions in my head that was very different to what I had imagined yeah. it was going to be. Yeah. But I think you definitely is a try before you buy kind of hobby. Yeah, you 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 you'll you'll know probably yeah. first first you, maybe second game if that is for you. I think the first day you play it, you'll know if this is something for you. Yeah. Mhm. No, definitely. But as I, as as my philosophy, my philosophy is always try things twice, more than once. Mm. Because you you could go to you could go go to a game on your first day, and for some reason it it has just been a bad game. It can just be, be something even, very yeah. very very small for no reason. But then you might go the second time, and your your day has been absolutely perfect. So give it give it a go. Yeah. Just, just don't go there one day, and if that one day has been really bad, don't go. Oh, that's not for me. Go again. Go two or three more times just to see if you know get the feel. Yeah, it's how 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 I would how I would sort of say. But then you could go on go on your first game, love it, and then go on your second game, and it'll be like, do you know what? I'm fed up with this. He's not so and so's not taking their hits. Blah blah. blah. He's doing this. Oh, it's unfair. Don't let it get get to you. But that's how I see. That's how I was, how I see the community at the minute. It's very yeah. poisonous at the minute and if there's going to be any issues it's because of the poisonous yeah. that's in it what you you're making a sport that is fun turn into bad and less the, fun less fun and, and the more you <clears> do it the less people you're going to have have in it and they're going to hate it then they're going to slate it and then eventually it'll be no well, one wants to play no one wants to play and then, then it gets to the stupid bit of is it on is it safe and then you get you get all all the top people, you know, all all the legislation, you know, whatever. You get what happens in Canada. There. What happens yeah, in Canada? Get exactly that. You get what happens in Canada. You will get what what is happening, what's already hap- going on in Australia. You can't play in Australia. No. You now can't play in Canada. You can't even go in Canada. So say you live in Canada, you can't go from there down to the states and back again to play airsoft. How about you then, Joe? What what brought <laughs> What put you into the, the sport of airsoft? Oh, well, I think very similar in ways to you is that I I grew up obsessed with guns. So because in our country guns are like not part of normal life, you very rarely ever see one. And if not, it's in the hands of like a police officer or a soldier. You know, guns yeah. are very the force, the the, the force, the service. Yeah, shall we say. exactly, definitely. So. Guns are not normal, and so I was. I grew up obsessed with it because I used to watch uh, TV shows about guns. I used to really enjoy action movies, and I used to love you know, uh, warfare games on Xbox. Yeah. So, you know, I just grew up thinking they look really cool. So I would grow up like obsessed with guns, uh, and and so eventually, I think my dad bought me, like you said, a Springer. BB gun yeah. you know and that's that was the extent of what I thought they were I thought that's all you could get was a bright orange kind of cheap looking replica of a cool gun and it's got yeah. a rip and I was really weak as a kid so like yeah. I'd really have to 
crank that spring back and it'll yeah. make a large ping. Then I have to crank it back again after the second shot. Yeah. But I thought that was it. I thought that's all you could get. You could get a rifle and you could get a little pistol and then you could pretend yeah. to be an army person. And yeah, then... but, yeah. but even if you didn't load the gun, you'd still think, you know, you'd still exactly. think you still just... Out, I, I never, I never had BBs. I was never allowed no, them. No, you, you, you still, you still thought you were a Rambo exactly, or, yeah. or, or um, uh, Arnie, you weren't yeah. I had, a, I had a bright orange MP5 with a stock and a and a fake silencer, and I used to run around think, and I used to, a, a little cheap little red dot, like really cheap, like two pound red dot, and I used to think I was a sniper. <laughs> yeah. And oh. I didn't care because, you know, I wasn't allowed BBs because I wasn't trusted with them, which is fair enough. I probably could have hurt myself. But um, I I thought that was all you could get. And then once I kind of got onto using computers and stuff, I would look on the website, Just BB Guns, you know, big yeah. up, big up Just BB Guns. But I'd look on there and I'd go, oh, you can actually get, you can actually get different kinds of them. Yeah. And then I'd watch his videos because he used to make little yeah. reviews on different guns and stuff to use yeah. on the website. So I'd used to watch those and like, I was thinking, oh my God, you can get like guns that kind of have a working slide and they're gas. Like that's really cool. Yeah. And then from there, I was recommended videos of like skirmishes and airsoft games and stuff. And from that, I was like, I really want to do that. How do I do that? Yeah. And at this point, I'd been paintball quite a few times. And I thought, I always enjoyed it, but I never enjoyed getting shot. But, you know, no one does. But I always no. enjoyed that whole, like, like pretending to be army and stuff. So I always, yeah, but, it, it, it yeah. always appealed to me, yeah. But when, when, when you used to go paintball, and you, you felt, you, you know, you were being a soldier or something. But exactly. it never quite, it never quite felt. Yeah, exactly. Because the guns just, they were like, tubes with a big can yeah, on the with, top for the with, paintballs and you know, an air tank you know it's like yes i've got a gun but kind of. it's not a, it's, you could pay yeah, you could a... pay to upgrade to the m4 looking paintball gun which was kind of cool but it still had that massive drum on the top yeah. for the paint for the paintballs and so i i used to watch tons of videos on like just paintball and airsoft yeah and then I kind of grew up, and I, I had a couple of mates. Matt was one of them, who uh, who would like, oh, this is really cool. We should really get into it. And yeah. I think uh, my parents just weren't a hundred percent like with me having it. They didn't know. They didn't trust that I'd be safe with it, which is fair enough. Like, if it's not common in the house, like they're not gonna yeah. be a hundred percent with it. Yeah. So. Well, I, I, I was I was sort of lucky because I, one I'd moved I'd moved I, uh, I had moved out. Yeah. I did have a spell where I had to go back to my mum's, but my dad used to be a gamekeeper, so I used to go out shooting with him, like live shooting, you know. Yeah. Going for vermin, so I was used to shooting a shotgun. So my mum was sort of she yeah. was okay, but not okay with it. But, but you were an adult. Was, that's the thing. Or you yeah, were older. But, but then. I was older, but the thing is, though, if you're in someone else's house, you you sort of you know you respect that what they a, say, and that's the thing. Yeah, I didn't it, fight them it, on it. No, I just kind of accepted that they didn't want it in the house, so I was like, fair enough. No. I'll wait till I'm eighteen. And so once I yeah. turned eighteen, I hadn't really thought about it. Like I was still watching airsoft videos. Yeah. And I was just trying to find a way into the sport, and then it turns out my cousin's boyfriend, who I go with all the time now, um, yeah. he he'd gotten into it. And he was my my way into, like, at this point, I didn't need to convince my my parents because I was 18. I could do what I wanted. Yeah. But it definitely helped hearing him uh, explain to them that, you know, it's fun, it's safe. Uh, as long as you do, you know, as long as you follow the safety things, it's basically paintball. Yeah. Um, with, you know, more realistic looking guns. Yeah. And no mess. Yeah. Um, and so that kind of allowed them to be a lot more on board with the idea of me doing it. Yeah. So I, so they'd feel comfortable with me having an airsoft gun in the house. I think that was the main yeah. issue. They didn't feel comfortable with it in the house. Yeah. And then, so I got into airsoft and my first gun, which I still use today because I haven't been in airsoft that long, 
But my first no. my first gun uh, was is a CM sixteen <clears throat> G uh, a G and G a Wild Hog, yeah. 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 And I love that gun. I love it. It yeah. was it the thing is the way I saw it was that um I t- I saw all these different brands like Lancer and uh uh Speckner and Symer and G and G definitely aren't like top tier brand. No. But I um the, the way my uh just his name's George, so the way George explained it to me was that um you you know you don't want to buy a super cheap gun because he had already done it where he'd bought a super cheap gun, and yeah, it and he played for like way. four games and it just broke, like yeah, learned the hard he way. learned the hard way. He said you may as well just buy a gun that's like a bit more expensive but is more reliable. Yeah, and so I was like, that's fine. I ain't got an issue with that. So I'd rather I spent a bit more on a gun. I spent about two hundred something, which it still wasn't like what you'd consider a top tier gun is like double that at least. Yeah. But that's a, the 200 plus price range is where you start to get a bit more reliable. Yeah. And so I was like, you know, that's fine. I'll get that. Um, I tried to buy it black, um, through him, use his Yukara, but, uh, it didn't work. Like I didn't want to have it shipped to him cause he was still living in London at this point. So I, yeah. I didn't want to have to wait. So I was like, just screw it. I'll just get it. And uh, I I had it, it arrived and I bought all the other little bits and bobs. And this is the thing. I hadn't played a match yet, which was... Yeah. Which on paper and, you know, looking back at it, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah. I definitely... I don't, like, I don't regret it because I'm still in the sport. I still really enjoy Airsoft. Yeah. But looking back, it was very silly of me to spend the amount of money I did without trying it yeah. like yeah i tried paintball before but i hadn't tried airsoft and they do operate slightly differently and yeah but i think i was so confident that i want that i was going to enjoy it and plus i thought if i don't enjoy it then i've still got some cool looking stuff that i can play with yeah at home so whilst they might be expensive it wouldn't be a total loss no it's all stuff i wanted to buy anyway just now i have a reason like now i have a place to use it yeah. So I kind of, my, I bought all these little bits and bobs and then I went along to my first game. And you know, that's, from from there, it, it just, I mean, I haven't bought many guns. I've got. No, no, you I've haven't. Four, <laughs> exactly. But I, I've bought, I've still spent a lot of money. Like, yeah. uh. I don't want to think about it. Don't want to think about how much I've spent. It'll make me sad. But oh well, you, you're not spending as much as me. I can, no, I, I can probably haven't. You that. I know that. I probably haven't. But I still spent a lot of money. Well, so thank, thank you all for listening to our yeah. what was going to be a, a quick. Uh, well, it's probably going to end up being a podcast. A, a little, little bit of a video now, podcast. But thank you for taking the time to watch it. Um, please like, subscribe, comment, and follow. On all our, on all our pages, and there'll be a a review or some sort of tech guide coming out, probably not long after this one because these videos aren't too hard to make. <laughs> no. So I'm sure we can do a dual release if we do. If we if one week we release this, I'm sure we can also do another video as well. It's a bit more yeah. guide or review yeah. or such. But we yeah. we have got a, we have got a big list. We've got a long list through. of ideas and stuff that we're doing. We just got to bear with us because pandemic, time restraints, you know. Work commitments. Exactly, we've that. got other commitments because this isn't our this isn't our job, Priorities. unfortunately. No. Nice. I'd love this to be our job. I'd love to do this. <laughs> I don't think I could. I, I, I don't think I could. No. I could do this. No. I, what I know in work life is all I know, really. <laughs> well, that's fair enough. But it'd be nice to make a bit of money on the side. Yeah, it, it would, but... <laughs> Could you imagine? No, that, that's, that's not us begging. That is just us joking, by the way. That is, that is us jokingly begging I know, I know, you. I, know, I, know, I think, I think every, every YouTuber wants to 
make a bit of money from YouTube. But yeah, but we don't care. We don't care. We're doing it for the fun. We do it for fun. No, it's it, it's a hobby at the end of the day. It's, exactly. If we make a pound, we make a it's pound. It's a hobby and a laugh between us all. Exactly. Really. Yeah, airsoft has probably the best community. Like, yeah. Uh, I think every single time I've gone airsoft, I've always ended up chatting with so many people who I don't know anything about, but you just catch them on the walk out to the field, on the walk back to the safe yeah. area. You know, you're just like, that's a cool gun. What gun's that? Like, it's just the nicest community, and I just don't want it to be poorly judged without someone, you know, really trying it, because it, yeah. nine times out of ten, it is great. Yeah, but, well, there you go. we'll cover that on another. We'll exactly, cover that yeah. on another video. Love it. Our next, our next video will probably be um, either a review on one of the guns we've got. Yeah, it may be, it may be Joe because Joe's got access to his his infantry. I haven't. <laughs> it um, might be a gear review. May... I might do my 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 plate yeah. carrier setup. Or it might just be another one, like, another video like or video like this or might you might actually get to see our faces <laughs> and it'll be it'll be a we shown our faces it'll, it'll, yet? it'll probably be a beginner's guide do a yeah. little face where, oh. where emma who's not in the sport fully will be asking us questions exactly put you on the spot um, eh? yeah we'll do so, that but we'll do that be sure to stay here and wait for more random stuff from us <laughs> yeah. as and when we do it shit talk what's exactly. that and a load of the shit talk exactly yeah. yeah so on that note thank you everyone for watching or listening like share subscribe comment and everything else that comes with it the whole long list of stuff to do do it now yeah. <laughs> don't end the video until you've done it Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. Peace out.